this has to be the deciding video, right? I mean, if the third and final part doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Which of these two should you use? Let's find out. Fantastic human, hello. It's Ropsy, back with this third and final comparison of Good Notes versus Not Full for 2024. The first feature we'll look at, NoFo doesn't have it at all. It is the most difficult issue for the NoFo developers to solve, or CR. According to them, bringing handwriting recognition to the app will be very expensive, so much that they'll be forced to bring a subscription for the app. Given how dedicated they are to keeping NoFo a one-time purchase, they've refrained from doing that. But let us know, what would you rather have? A one-time purchase without OCR or a subscription with OCR. In Good Notes, you can convert your handwriting to text. Who else finds this new pop-up menu in Good Notes a bit annoying? We have new icons to learn now. I mean, what happened to the text menu? It was very easy to use. Everything was there. I'm just saying. Once you've converted your text, you can convert any errors in the conversion. And I'm happy to see that the app now replaces your handwriting with the converted text. It retains the color of your pen as well. How fantastic is that? The app supports a decent number of languages for your handwriting conversion. For one who doesn't care much about converting my handwriting to text, I mean, typing is direct and faster, I imagine there is a better use for OCR in a handwriting note taking app, searching your notes. It is critical for handwriting note-taking app, and that is something I started appreciating when we're collaborating on so many ideas as a team. GoodNotes also converts your math equations that you can now edit with LaTeX code. The images are resizable and you can rotate them, but we don't have a color option for them yet. Good Notes is the better app here, obviously. I am not a huge fan of AI in my notes. What do you guys think? Am I being ridiculous, cautious, or paranoid? It's probably a combination of all three. The handwriting mimicry for word completion has improved dramatically. I am happy to see that. At the same time, I'm disappointed that Spell check failed to pick up this error because I genuinely didn't know the spelling for that word. Let's try another one. Just out of curiosity, does my second letter look like an X? It's these small little details that AI misses that just make me not trust it. I bet a lot of you were going to guess this word minutes before AI even had an attempt at it, and it's supposed to be faster. This is why I dislike this new tech, that it is learning and training itself on my time. I'm just happy that we can turn it off. And maybe in the future it will be useful, but at the moment it's just going to slow me down and I still need to make sure that it's accurate every single time it does anything. The GoodNotes developers are not slowing down with their AI integration. Now we have an Ask GoodNotes AI chat this would have been great for collaboration, actually. Obviously, I'm going to say no to this. Clearly, this AI is going through my notes, and I confirmed that from their website. They clearly say that. I thought that I was asking a general question, but no, it gave me answers from the open notebook. This is great if you think AI can help you summarize your notes and help you understand them better. But from my experience, it's usually the other way around. At least it links back to your notes, which can be helpful. This is the second time I've used this feature and I've already run out of credits. And the most annoying part is that I didn't even get the answer I wanted from the AI. So I can imagine if you're actually using it and paying for these, that will cost you a lot of money just to get an answer that you can read yourself from your notes. 
What do you guys think about bringing an AI expert on the channel to help us shed some light on AI, especially me? I mean, AI and I are like water and oil. At some point, I need to embrace the tech and stop fighting it, but I'll probably need some help with that. For me, this is the deciding feature to stay away from good notes because I don't think I'm ready to open up my notes just yet. I mean, the AI just read my notes. I don't know where it took it. I don't even know what the AI is going to do after analyzing all the notes in my notebook. Didn't even tell me that I was going to do that. I had to find it from their website. In addition to the tape you get in most handwriting note taking apps, GoodNotes has flashcards. These are great to have, but I find that they're extra work because you have to create them separately from your notes. Feels like too much work compared to tape that just covers what you already have in your notes. We compared flashcards to layers in Noteful about a year ago, and I still like layers because they don't take you away from your notes. But GoodNotes is going all out to become more than just a handwriting or taking app. That gives GoodNotes a lot of advantages for students, not so much for everyone else. Let me know. Flashcards or layers? Do tell. Very few handwriting note-taking apps don't support multiple instances, so we won't even bother with that one for iPadOS support, but true dark mode, on the other hand, is almost impossible to find. Sure, pitch black user interface is great, but even better would be changing our notebooks and ink automatically. Both apps don't have this option. I wasn't expecting to find any widgets, but I thought it was worth a shot. Nothing exciting has happened to our page editing capabilities in GoodNotes for years now. Except the sidebar, which is always better than covering up your notebook just to edit its pages. Unless we can resize our page thumbnails, of course. Just kidding. The sidebar in GoodNotes is still a better setup, no matter how much I love resizing thumbnails in Notful. I also like that duplicating pages is readily available in GoodNotes and look forward to having that in Notful. However, if you like having page editing capabilities that are unique and useful, Notful has two particularly interesting ones. The first one is that it supports two page view for your documents and your notebooks. It's not as seamless as I would like, so we hope the developers can work on it some more. So, better than nothing, but still not the best. Even better than that is page cropping to add more space around your pages. Of course, you can remove parts of the pages that is part of cropping, but adding space is very rare to find. We were really excited to see that in our form. I also love that you can do this for each page as you need, not necessarily all your pages in the PDF. So you can do this for a couple of pages in your notebook and not for all the pages in your document. This is not the same as resizing your pages. This is adding space to that page without changing its size. Notebook doesn't have a search that you can count on. It doesn't search through your handwriting and its result previews are not very useful. Finding anything is terribly difficult in the app. So GoodNotes is better for that. It has better previews and your results are organized into notes and outlines. That really helps when you just want to search through your table of contents. Universal search on the homepage is also great in GoodNotes. It even organizes your search results. But Note 4, on the other hand, doesn't have universal search, so you'll only be searching your notebook and folder names on the homepage, which is very limiting for a handwriting note-taking app. Collaboration is still a rare gem to find in a handwriting note-taking app, and GoodNotes done a great job with it, which is critical for classrooms and teams. Unfortunately, after all these years, we still don't have permissions to control what people do with our notes. And I'm starting to wonder if perhaps it is too much to ask for.
because other than that, it's a complete and functional feature. The sticky notes are a great way to make comments stand out when collaborating, especially when you have a lot going on in your notes. This makes good notes difficult to compete with, especially for those who need to work with others. It's surprising how most handwriting note-taking apps are not rolling this out like they did with tape. Probably harder to do than tape, now that I think about it. Noteful doesn't have collaboration, obviously, in case that wasn't clear already. In 2024, you probably shouldn't be thinking about exporting your notes from your handwriting note-taking app. I doubt it's going to change, ever. These apps don't play well together. So what you create in GoodNotes only remains editable in GoodNotes and that applies to every other handwriting note-taking app. What you can do, however, is share your notes as PDF or images that can only be annotated on. No app struggles with that anymore. They're all exporting PDFs and images. Presentation mode is also great for presenting your notes without the distracting user interface. And for both apps, you get a laser pointer. Note is only cooler because it gives you three color options for it. The trailer will let you write information you want to remove a few seconds later. So this is information you want disappearing from a presentation after a while. Do any of you guys have a workflow that needs you to export editable notes to other apps as part of your daily routine? Just curious to know. Organization of your notebooks and pages is much better in Noteful than GoodNotes. It's one of the features I love about Noteful, which influenced the app I chose to replace the app within my workflow. Noteful can tag and pin pages in your notebook so you can access them on homepage. The tags and pins also work for your notebooks and that is just wonderful. GoodNotes has bookmarks. Noteful has them too and I can't help but wonder why. I suppose it's best to add than remove features. It's the only reason I can come up with why Noteful still has that when it has pins and tags. Both apps have outlines. GoodNotes was the first handwriting note-taking app to support them. But years later, we still can't nest them. Nested outlines like we have in note form just makes sense. The sidebar in GoodNotes 6 is the most disappointing feature the developers have added to the app to this date. When they brought it, I thought we were going to have something like we have in note form. A sidebar for all our folders in the app. But no. They just moved the tabs we had at the bottom of the screen in GoodNotes 5. We still have to dig into our folders like we're mining something. Noteful and Notability do this so gracefully. The latest update in GoodNotes 6 to our app organization is the ability to lock our notebooks. It doesn't encrypt them though, just locks them. If you have some sensitive information, this is not a bad feature to have. How many of you guys have wanted this feature in GoodNotes? Do tell. Shouldn't it lock each time I close the notebook? Doesn't seem to be doing that. On paper, GoodNotes is definitely the winner. It has more features, but there's more to choosing a handwriting note-taking app than its features. It's really a question of whether or not you actually need or use all the features in the app. It's also important to note that we have received a lot of complaints about GoodNotes draining out batteries and overheating iPads, an issue that's never been reported with any other app in this niche. We recommend GoodNotes for classrooms and teams that do a lot of work together. Its collaboration features are great and there aren't many apps that can give you the same experience. Also consider the app of a Noteful, if you want to create flashcards and search your handwriting. Noteful, on the other hand, is great for anyone who cares about how your handwriting looks. I am one of those humans. If you also care about your privacy, then Noteful is probably better. That was one of my reasons for choosing the app because 
good knows runs too many experiments and now with AI running rampant in the app, I am simply not comfortable with that. It's probably not something I would worry about if I was a student, right? I started doing this comparison to answer the question you guys asked a lot. Do I still recommend No4 as a GoodNotes alternative? The answer is yes, I still do. It is a great handwriting note-taking app, but like every other app we review on this channel, it is not for everyone. For reasons we might get into in a different video. I hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.